It's 630. We're following breaking news after a chaotic and deadly night in downtown Minneapolis. An innocent woman is dead and several people are in the hospital after a shootout and a serious crash. This was the aftermath just after 11 last night in the North Loop area. Let's get straight out to our Marielle Mose, who is live on the scene right now. Marielle. Heather, this intersection behind me at 5th and 6th, about a block away from Target Field, is back open this morning after a shootout ended in a deadly crash right here on the sidewalk that I'm standing on. I want to show you the damage left behind, though, from this crash. So first off, you can see the flashing lights behind me at this intersection. That's because one of the cars crashed into the base of this traffic light, knocking the light completely off the top of it. So that's why this is treated as a four-way stop here this morning. Another car crashed into the beach the match building here to my right. You can see the tree has been knocked over, some of the mulch kicked up, and we're seeing car parts, including a headlight, still in this mess right here next to me. Um, there's also a scooter on the ground. We don't know if this is the one that the woman was riding when she was hit and killed, but what we do know is that this all started at 11 p.m. I want you to take a look at this video from overnight. This is what this, this intersection that I'm standing at now looked like um, about six hours ago when we saw the crash vehicles here. Police say they got reports first around the 1800 blocks of Nicollet Avenue around 11 o'clock where multiple gunshots were coming between two cars. This was just on the other side of Loring Park from Interstate 94. Police say then those two cars drove side by side shooting at each other for 1.6 miles through downtown. Both cars they say had multiple adult men inside of them. Those cars eventually made their way to the North Loop here where they crashed and struck a woman riding a scooter on the sidewalk and police say she was just an innocent bystander not involved in this shootout or the crash whatsoever making this an even more tragic situation we do know this morning that four men are in the hospital with serious injuries all four of them were involved and they were in those two cars police are also asking for any help in just painting the picture of what happened last night. Like I said, a 1.6 mile shootout through downtown. If you witnessed or saw anything, they're asking you to let them know and you can keep your tip anonymous. Heather? Mm -hmm. A disturbing picture indeed, Marielle. Thank you. Stay with us for continuing coverage as we get more details about what happened.